Hi, this is Ruki. Welcome to Math Key. In this episode of Fractions, we are learning one of the easiest topics you can ever imagine. Guess what it is? Multiplication of fractions. In this video, I'm going to show you that multiplying fractions is more friendly than adding or subtracting fractions. To multiply fractions accurately, we apply any of the following two simple methods. Take for instance the fractions. To multiply them directly simply means all numerators multiply themselves and all denominators multiply themselves. Therefore, we can rewrite the fractions in such a way that all numerators are being multiplied and all denominators are being multiplied. From our multiplication table, 3 times 5 is 15. For the denominators, 7 times 4 is 28. Therefore, the fractions 3 over 7 times 5 over 4 has the same value as 15 over 28. Is this all? Of course, yes. Easy and tasty. Let's do another example together. Just like the previous example, all numerators multiply themselves. All denominators multiply themselves. From the multiplication table, 2 times 8 is 16 and 16 times 5 is 80. For the denominators, 3 times 5 is 15 and 15 times 2 is 30. Therefore, we have 80 over 30, which eventually reduces to 8 over 3. To learn how to reduce fractions to lowest terms, watch this video. Alright, now it's your turn. Feel free to pause the video at this point and try this by yourself. Welcome back. It's time to check what you've got. 4 times 7 is 28 and 28 times 2 is 56. For the denominators, 3 times 5 is 15 and 15 times 3 is 45. Therefore, our result is 56 over 45. If you got this result, a round of applause for you. You are a genius. What if the fractions are more than 3? Say 6 for example. Does this method also work? Yes, of course. It works for any number of fractions. However, the only challenge with it is that sometimes the numbers in the resulting fraction may be very large and becomes difficult to reduce. But the good thing is this. There is a solution to that, which is the second method. To avoid coming up with large numbers when multiplying fractions, we apply the second method, which I call the game method. It is just like playing all sorts of games. There are rules, the do's and the don'ts. Only a number on top can cancel out another number at the bottom when they are the same, no matter how far apart they are, and vice versa. Only a number on top can reduce another number at the bottom, no matter how far apart they are, and vice versa. Now let's talk about the don'ts. On no condition must a single number at the bottom cancel more than one number at the top, and vice versa. That means when a number has been cancelled, it has been cancelled. No two numerators should cancel out. No two denominators should cancel out. These are the don'ts in this game. Doing any of these will get you penalized. Now we are set to play the game. Let's do this example together. There is a 12 on top and there is a 12 at the bottom. They both cancel out. The common factor between 7 and 21 is 7. 7 goes into itself is 1 and 7 goes into 21 is 3. Therefore, our resulting fraction becomes 1 over 3. Another example, we really need to open our eyes very well here. We can see a 9 at the bottom and another 9 at the top. They both cancel out. What else can you see? There is a 4 at the bottom and there is another 4 at the top. They both cancel out. 5 and 5 cancel out as well. 
7 into itself is 1 and 7 into 14 is 2. Now we can see a 2 at the top and a 2 under. They both cancel out. So our resulting fraction is 3 over 1, which is also 3. One last game. We first change every mixed number to improper fraction. We are good to go now. The 3 on top cancels the 3 under. Should I do 2 into 16 first or 8 into 16 first? The thing is, you can do any one you wish to. What matters most is that one number is on top and the other is at the bottom. Let's take 8 and 16 together first. 8 into itself is 1. 8 into 16 is 2. Now we can see a 2 at the bottom and a 2 at the top. Both reduce to 1 or cancel out. We are left with just 1 times 5 divided by 1, which is 5. I hope you found this game interesting. Alright, let's now take a summary of what we have just learned in this video. To multiply fractions, we multiply directly all numerators and all denominators to obtain a single fraction. To avoid coming up with fractions with very large numbers, we apply the game method. In this method, only one number on top can cancel another number under. No number on top should cancel another number on top. No number under should cancel another number under. Thanks for watching. Learn more at MathKey.